as always, appreciate you coming back through. Thank you. Today, we're going to get into more of the obscure brands that I like to get into. I've been watching a version of this shoe. I think I told you all about it. Still haven't gotten my hands on it, but this was a perfect opportunity for me to try out the technology in that shoe. So um, the original shoe that I saw was the collaboration between Li Ning and Soland, a small Danish boutique brand. They had some dope stuff, some real dope stuff. Um, one of the collaborations with Li Ning was this right here, which is the Li Ning Wind Ranger. We actually did uh, a review about that one. Um, so the one that I had seen, they're calling the Shadow. Now that goes by a couple of different names. There's another uh, version of it called the Zhu Ying. Uh, please forgive me if I got it wrong. Uh, my terrible American pronunciation of uh, the Chinese language. But I believe it was Zhu Ying. That shoe um, is uh, called the Shadow in other, uh, other languages, other areas of the world. And I love this shoe. I love the technology. But couldn't get my hands on it. Still searching, still trying. We're going to get there. But this one that I'm coming up with now is a very close predecessor or, you know, maybe one level down, one notch down in terms of technology. And I tell you what, I am more than pleasantly surprised. So today, we are going to be talking about the leaning Shadow Essential. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Um, all knit upper. It's got some really unique things that we're going to get into. But let me tell you. I gotta say. For all the major brands that we talk about. For all the things that people are going after. Hunting down. Hyping for. Nike, Adidas. You know, there's a lot of brands out there, but we focus on so few of them. Um, I have yet to see a brand out-design China. Now, shoes are made there, but for the most part, they are not designed there. But China has brands that for a long time, for no other reason but that they were not the American or German brands that we knew of, uh they were getting bashed or they get knocked down. Some of the styles were clunky, you know, uh, socially, uh, things are different in different countries. Even design is a, a sort of social thing where, uh, it comes in different shapes and forms and sizes, uh, in different areas of the world. Um, you know, others like peak and Anta hadn't quite honed the very sleek, very athletic designs that, some of the other brands have. I mean, you've got uh, the the Shodan brand, again, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, forgive me, that started as a knockoff Jordan brand. Even the logo is a knockoff Jumpman. And now they're making high-end, you know, $200 running shoes that are fantastic. So I, I, I always say you have to explore other brands. That's why I do this on my channel in having obscure styles, obscure brands, things that you may not have heard of. They're not hype. They're not popular. Again, thank you for those of you that do watch the channel because there's not a lot of hype here to, to pull you in. So if you're here, you're here because you're truly interested. Appreciate you. But a brand like Li Ning is coming with some fantastic things. I mean, super hype things that have all the technology of other, other brands, carbon fiber plates, uh, people-based uh, pellet technology, um, your uh, infused and elevated EVAs, you know, and then even more than you could imagine. So that's what we're going to get into is the fact that, honestly, to me, China is coming with it. Out designing the world. The innovation is all over the place. Like, really, really crazy. We'll start from the bottom and go up on this one because uh, really that's where the interest is and I don't want to bury the lead. Let's just get right into it. Let's talk about what we see. Base level. 
you're looking at a fantastic tread pattern that I believe um, is their symbol for what they call their boost or their PIBA, you know, based technology. That pellet technology on the bottom, they call boom. So their boom is the uh, same as your Saucony Speeds, um, the same as a few other brands that have that more light styrofoam feel. Boost is much heavier. Uh, Boost is also a different formulation. For this technology, they're calling that boom. All right, so they actually, I love this about them, is they put their technology in a pictogram right there. They have small little icons for every single one of their technologies involved in the shoe. So they, they start with this outsole. Using the boom character as the tread, and let me tell you, it's sticky. This compound is really good. I'm not sure what the durability is going to be because I have seen no one who has this shoe. But I can tell you right now it is sticky. It has in the forefoot, you can see I've been wearing mine already. It's got this sort of fingerprint pattern here. And then the boom technology icons there as the majority of the tread. Goes all the way up onto the toe. Good coverage there. It's nice. Love it. So the obvious thing is their boom technology, as they have shown you in the bottom. So the midsole technology is split, literally, between two technologies. Well, actually, three technologies. You've got, one, the boom funnel. Next, here, you've got an EVA that is what they call elevated, um, some kind of... Uh, blown and superheated EVA really good a little stiffer than obviously than the boom technology really good ground feel because there's you know in this shoe here that massive chunk of the boom technology is squishy very very soft you sink into it almost get stuck in the mud when you're trying to run in it and I have tried to run in those um this one gives a much better ground feel, uh, much lighter rocker technology um, because of the shape. And so those are two of the technologies that you have. Now, the third is the Zhang technology. What that is, is this here. This little eye-shaped leaf spring in there is actually a plate. And that plate is placed against another concave structure um, in the elevated model that I really want to get, which is uh, that uh, Zhu Ying or the Shadow. That one actually has another carbon fiber plate here in the bottom that will compress like a leaf spring against the other concave shape, the other plate. It makes for a crazy bounce that you'll be able to see when it collapses and springs back. Now, it also gives you something to push off of because the insertion here in the toe uh, of the plate sits right under the ball of your foot. So that compression and push is what you're getting. And it is fantastic. The feel of it is crazy. I'm amazed at how they did it. It's a three-part midsole in terms of uh, you've got one, two, three pieces in the tooling that make that rocker shape and it works it works beautifully I've worked out in mine I had a really good sled push session today tons of good feel uh, tons of responsiveness very very quick it's a quick shoe it's a narrow shoe you know as opposed to a lot of the super cushion shoes that get very wide and mushy this one has a similar feel to the Puma Deviate Nitro, which I'm a huge fan of that one. There's another colorway that came out earlier. I, I wasn't expecting to like this one like I do. Um, so there's another colorway I want to try and get my hands on, but I'm still searching for the Big Mama Jahamba, which is the Zhu Yang or the Shadow uh, by Soland and Li Ning. So...
Let's see if I can get my hands on that. Let's talk about this upper for a second. Open, a kind of airy knit. Um, it's not exactly soft in terms of like, it's not the same knit as a prime knit or it, it, it feels much more like a fly knit. Um, kind of a plasticky feel, not more like a sweater or cloth feel. Um, good toe structure inside, but you can see right through it. You know, when the, when the light shines, it's very open mesh, very airy. Um, they've got some support and you can see that also in the strings there, kind of like a fly wire, not exactly, but very similar. Um, structure is good. Collar is padded on the heel only. There is no tongue. So it's a one piece upper. No tongue, booty construction. Um, great pull tab, great heavy duty pull tab there with a character on it. Um, kind of has a, a little lace tuck there. You can tuck the laces so they're not flopping around, which is actually pretty cool. I like that a lot with the leaning symbol there. Um, here's an interesting part. I love how they did this. This is just good design. Inside becomes outside. So the heel collar wraps over the top and actually forms the pull tab on the heel. That's actually pretty unique. I love how they did that. Great padding inside. You can see the collar padding there. Now let's get to one of my favorite uh, parts of this shoe. One of my favorite structures is the lace loops. Very innovative lace loops. They lock the lace loops in with this piece of fusing. So it's fused down and then it snakes in and out all the way to the back of the shoe. So this is a basically a live wire. You pull on it and it pulls up on the entire shoe, including the back here. It goes all the way back. That's super sick. I love that. Love that. I haven't seen it executed in that way. I've seen some open ghillie lacing, uh, lace loops, lace, lace locks, lace hooks. But that is a unique structure that I have not seen on any other shoe. And the lockdown is pretty good. Pretty good. All in all, this is a very surprising shoe. Um, again, I love the obscurity. I love giving new things a shot. I love the hunt to try to find these. Um, I'll get the big one, but I needed to test this one out to see if it was worth the squeeze, and it certainly is. I'll be going after the actual Zhu Yang Shadow uh, by Soland or the one by Li Ning without the collaboration attached. But this one is proof of concept. So I'll be on the hunt for more of this colorway or more of this shoe in a different colorway as well as more of uh, that Zhang technology with that cantilever open leaf spring midsole. I love it. Thanks for coming through. Uh, as always, love your support. Appreciate it. Come back through. We got a few more things going. I got a couple more things to show you this week. Gonna be on. Come through. All right.